The EV9 presents Kia's unique design with a new harmony of contrasting shapes. The front embodies a proud and confident mask with the strong and clear shape of a tiger's nose. The StarMap LED daytime running lights, inspired by constellations, transmit a high-tech image. The aerodynamic molding of the sides ensures outstanding performance, while the unique proportions and upright posture of an SUV provide a sense of splendor. The tail lamps with the StarMap signature lighting in the rear complete the sense of unity with the front. And the wide shoulder line that resembles a boat's tail cabin emphasizes the confident and stable posture. The interior of the EV9 is designed like an open lounge. The media, volume and climate control features, which require intuitive operation while driving, are provided with physical buttons on the center fascia for your convenience. The second row seats are provided with a flat floor and for the third row seats, the sitting height and the headroom have been improved to create a more comfortable and open space. The interior materials are made from sustainable resources, providing a more comfortable and sophisticated mood with various seat patterns. Kia's EV9 uniquely combines the agility of an electric car with the strength of an SUV, while improving space utilization with a robust profile. The front embodies a proud and confident mask with the strong and clear shape of a tiger's nose. The vehicle includes futuristic elements such as the digital pattern lighting of the grille, the small cube projection LED headlamps, and the star map LED daytime running lights inspired by constellations. The unique proportions of the sides along with the upright posture of a large SUV provide a sense of splendor. The glossy black digital side mirror, belt line molding, metal paint side garnish, and 21-inch dark colored wheels exclusive to the GT line create a simple and sophisticated impression. The tail lamps with the star map signature lighting in the rear complete the sense of unity with the front and the wide shoulder line that resembles a boat's tail cabin emphasizes the competent and stable posture. A gunmetal skid plate at the bottom of the bumper, exclusive to the GT line, creates a bold and strong impression. The bridge-type roof rack emphasizes the sense of outdoor life. The interior of the EV9 is designed like an open lounge. The second row seats are provided with a flat floor, and for the third row seats, the sitting height and the headroom have been improved to create a more comfortable and open space. The interior materials are made from sustainable resources, providing a sense of natural serenity. The GT Line's modern and comfortable seat design creates a luxurious look. When the driver's door opens, the illuminated steering wheel emblem lights up for a second providing a spatial experience of getting into and out of the vehicle and driving. The electric column type wire combined with a start button enables intuitive and simple operation. On top of that, Kia's first panoramic wide display seamlessly combines the two 12.3-inch displays of the digital cluster and infotainment and the 5-inch climate control display located between them. The hidden button at the bottom bezel on the display provides a luxurious feeling of operation with a haptic response. The media, volume and climate control features, which require intuitive operation while driving, are provided with physical buttons on the center fascia for your convenience. The digital side mirrors ensure a clear rear view on rainy days or at night, and the digital center mirror provides a comfortable and safe mobility experience. The brightness and color of the indoor light can be set under settings, vehicle, lights, ambient lighting on the infotainment system. Ambient lighting is installed on the crash pad, top and bottom of the doors, and the consoles of the driver's and front passenger seats, adding on the luxurious impression to the interior. In addition, six independent lamps are provided for the first, second, and third row seats, which can be controlled separately.
the EV9's infotainment system combines a 12.3-inch cluster display, 5-inch climate control display, and 12.3-inch navigation display. The same graphic user interface theme is applied to the AVNT cluster and head-up display improving the sense of unity and providing the optimum usability. When you swipe down from the top of the screen on any display, the quick control screen is displayed, where the settings for illumination, passenger talk, and navigation guidance can be adjusted. You can press the settings button at the top right of the screen to freely select the card you want. In addition, a streaming feature media remote control support, built-in cam integration, and a wash mode are included to provide an expanded user experience. When you touch the plus button at the top right of the climate control screen, the screen expands into the infotainment screen, which allows for convenient adjustment of climate controls from the front passenger seat. In the EV9, one-touch relaxation seat selection is available for the first and second row seats, allowing up to four passengers to take comfortable position while charging electric devices or taking a break. In addition, with the infotainment system screen, the warmer ventilation feature and the seat position of the second row seats can be adjusted and the backrests of the second and third row seats can be folded. When the massage button on the second row seat armrest is pressed while the engine is on, the strength mode adjustment is displayed on the armrest screen and the dynamic body care feature are turned on, helping the passengers relieve fatigue through blood circulation while driving or riding the vehicle for a long time. An electric tilting walk-in has been applied to the right seat in the second row, providing a larger space than the previous walk-in seat and making it easier to get into the third row seats. After stowing the seat belt of the second row seat, press the folding switch on the outside of the seat or the switch on top of the backrest to tilt forward and move the cushion and backrest. A reclining feature is provided for the third row seats in the EV9, along with the high glossy cup holder bezel, which upgrades the armrest. C-type USB ports are applied for all seats, so passengers in the second and third row can conveniently charge their electronic devices. The swiveling seat feature of the second row can be used by adjusting the swivel lever at the bottom of the seat, and you can operate this feature with the second row seat's door open. With the 330 millimeter rail, the second row seats can be rotated 180 degrees inward toward the third row and 90 degrees outward towards the side doors, allowing passengers to use the space in various ways. However, for passenger safety, it's recommended that this feature be used when the vehicle is not moving. The EV9 has an electric hood latch, and the hood can also be unlocked with the button inside, the Kia Connect application, or the Smart Key. The large capacity front trunk provides advanced storage convenience compared to the previous model, allowing passengers to conveniently store a slow charging cable. You can open the expandable center console by pressing the button at the bottom, and here you can store small items. There's a console box storage compartment in the second row which can be used as a temporary table, improving the convenience of the passengers in the second row seats. In addition, the tailgate switch inside the vehicle allows passengers to open the tailgate from inside which is convenient when camping in the vehicle. You can press the EV9 charging door to open it and press the button inside to close it conveniently. When connecting the charger, turn off the engine and press the panel of the charging door to open the port. Check whether there are foreign substances such as dust in the charging connector or inlet. Hold the handle of the connector and push it into the vehicle's charging inlet until it clicks. Once charging starts, the estimated charging time is displayed on the cluster for about one minute. When charging the driving battery, you can check the charge level through the indicator light inside the charging door. When charging is complete, 
Hold the handle of the charging connector and press the unlock button. Then pull and disconnect it. By connecting the EV charging port and the V2L gender that converts the voltage to 110-220 volts for home use, the electricity use settings will allow for the use of general household appliances when camping or during outdoor activities. You can check the battery discharge amount under the EV mode energy information field of the infotainment system. If the discharge limit is higher than the current drive battery amount, then the battery stops operating. Open the outlet cover of the V2L connector. Connect the household appliance to the outlet. Press the switch and check whether the light is on. If you're finished using it, press the switch of the V2L connector to turn off the light. Press the unlock button of the vehicle door and unlock the charging door to disconnect the V2L connector. After purchasing a vehicle, EV9 customers can purchase additional upgrades through the Kia Connect store at any time without having to visit an offline store. You can access it through Kia Connect. You can check images and detailed specifications of the upgrades in the detailed upgrade guides and can easily place an order with integrated payment through Kia Pay. A pop-up with an installation guide for the upgrade will appear once you start the vehicle after purchasing an upgrade. If you follow the instructions and turn off the vehicle, a vehicle status confirmation pop-up for installation will appear. For the installation, the gear shifter should be in the P position and the door should be closed. Vehicle use is restricted during installation and you can check the progress on the screen until the installation is complete. After the installation is complete, the installation completion pop-up will appear and you will be guided to use the upgrade through a QR code that appears in the pop-up. RSPA2, the improved remote smart parking assistant, includes remote operation, smart parking, remote start parking, and a smart exit. RSPA2 can be purchased for vehicles with a surround view monitor SVM and it is included in the GT line trim as a standard feature. Those who purchased vehicles with digital pattern lighting grills can choose patterns inside the car according to their preferences. You can also purchase five additional patterns at the Kia Connect store on top of the basic pattern for each trim. Lane Following Assist helps you stay in the center of the lane. You can turn the function on or off by briefly pressing the Lane Driving Assist button on the steering wheel. If the vehicle recognizes a lane, it will stay in the center of the lane. If you take your hands off the steering wheel, a warning will sound for your safety. If the driver does not return his or her hands to the steering wheel after the warning, the function will be turned off. Make sure to always hold the steering wheel and keep your eyes forward while driving the vehicle. If the sensor malfunctions or is blocked by foreign substances, a warning message will appear on the cluster. For more information, refer to the owner's manual. The EV9 boasts a more luxurious appearance with auto flush door handles. When you approach the outside door handle of either front door with a smart key, the door automatically unlocks and the door handle pops out to welcome you. If the automatic unlocking does not activate when you approach, touch the sensor on the door handle to unlock the door. You can set them up under settings, vehicle, door, active approach unlock on the infotainment system. The digital side mirrors help the driver change lanes safely by displaying a video of the vehicle's rear on the monitor inside the car. If the digital side mirror specifications have been applied, the digital side mirror starts upon opening the door. You can set the side mirrors to open up when the door unlocks or when the driver approaches. Under Settings, Vehicle, Lights, Welcome Mirror, Lights on the infotainment screen. 
The digital center mirror provides a safe rear view. By pulling or pushing the lever at the bottom, you can easily switch between optical mode and digital mode. EV9's Highway Driving Assist is designed to help maintain the distance from the vehicle ahead and keep the vehicle in the center of the lane at the set speed while driving on a highway. While driving on the highway, you can turn on the function by pressing the Driving Assist button on the steering wheel. Push the plus minus switch up to increase the set speed and down to decrease it. Press the Vehicle Distance button to change the distance from the vehicle ahead. Press the Brake or the Pause Resume to switch to temporarily disable the function. And press the switch again to resume the preset speed. To resume Smart Cruise Control with the current speed when the function is disabled, press the plus minus switch up or down. Your vehicle will stop if the vehicle ahead of you stops. And if the vehicle ahead of you starts moving again within a short time, your vehicle will start as well. After 30 seconds have passed, press the pedal to accelerate or push the switch to start driving. If a vehicle in the lane next to you is driving at a close distance, your vehicle will move to the other side within the lane for safety. Also, over a certain speed, you can automatically and safely change lanes by holding the steering wheel and turning on the turn signal for the lane you want to change to. If the sensor malfunctions or is blocked by foreign substances, a warning message will appear on the cluster. Remote Smart Parking Assist 2 helps you to remotely park and exit parking spaces from outside the vehicle. If you cannot enter or exit the vehicle due to the narrow space, you can use the remote operation function to conveniently move the vehicle. Within the range of the vehicle, press the door lock button on the smart key and within 4 seconds hold the remote start button to start the vehicle. Then press the forward or backward button to move the vehicle until it reaches the desired location. To use the remote parking function after driving the vehicle, stop the vehicle next to the space that you want to park in, shift the gear to D, and hold the parking view button to turn on the function. To search for the parking space, drive forward while maintaining a distance of about one meter from the parking space. Press the brake when the parking space search complete screen appears. Select a parking type and then the remote parking function. As instructed, shift the gear to P, then get out of the vehicle with the smart key and close all the doors. Hold the forward or backward button on the smart key to move the vehicle by itself. When the vehicle reaches the target location, the parking complete message appears and the gear shifts to P. Then, the parking brake engages and the vehicle turns off. The next part will explain the smart parking function that enables you to park the vehicle while you're still in the vehicle. As with remote smart parking, search for the parking space, stop by pressing the brake pedal, select the parking type, and then select the smart parking function. As instructed, hold the Parking View button and take your foot off the brake to start the Smart Parking function. When parking is complete, a message appears and the gear shifts to P. Then, the parking brake engages and the vehicle turns off. Every moment is an opportunity for a new encounter. The moment when you've got the itch for joyful driving, accelerate the excitement with the boost. The moment when you need a helping hand, park with ease and comfort at the touch of a button. The moment when you want to shine like a star, command attention with dazzling lighting pattern.
The moment you encounter Kia Connect Store, life becomes more personal, more you. Connect every moment. Kia Connect Store. Electric vehicle chargers and how you can take full advantage of them. There are over 46,000 public chargers and counting in the U.S. Many are part of nationwide public charging networks such as Electrify America. The majority of these networks have mobile apps that allow you to find chargers, track your usage, and pay for charging. It's a good idea to sign up with one or more of the prominent charging networks in your area so that you're ready to charge as soon as you pull up. Signing up in advance isn't a requirement. You can do everything right from the charge station, but you won't be able to access the additional features and in Electrify America's case, members only pricing. There are two main types of public chargers, level two and DC fast chargers. The majority of public charging stations are level two. They can fully charge a vehicle like this Nero EV overnight, but they can still give you back some decent range in a relatively short time. DC fast chargers are currently the quickest way to charge an EV for example, they can take this Kia EV6's charge from 10% up to 80% in as little as 18 minutes. Finding public chargers is easy. Services like Electrify America have charging station locators right in their apps. Vehicles like this Kia Nero EV offer accompanying apps that can also help you find chargers. In the case of this Nero EV equipped with navigation, you can use a touch screen in the vehicle to find chargers too. Now that you know the types of public chargers and how to find them, let's talk about how to use them. After you arrive at a public charging station, set up your charger connector locking mode through the touchscreen. Activate the public charger by using the app or the controls on the unit itself. Make sure the charge door is unlocked and open. And if you're using a DC fast charger, you may need to remove the DC fast charge cover as well. Then connect the charger to your vehicle and let it charge. Depending on the charger, you may be prompted to pay through the unit or the app. When you're ready to leave, just unplug the charge handle and return it to the charging unit. Today we're talking EV and plug-in hybrid charging, more specifically home charging. Let's go through the different types of chargers. They're classified into three levels based on the amount of kilowatts they can deliver to the battery. Think of it like a hose filling up a swimming pool. The bigger the hose, the faster the pool will fill up. Level one chargers use a standard 110 volt outlet that you find throughout your home. These have the longest charge times, but allow you to use nearly any outlet for charging. Great when you're away for the weekend or have extra time for charging. Level two chargers use a 240 volt outlet, like an electric clothes dryer. This is the type of charger you'd have installed at home, and they make up the majority of public chargers. They can charge this Kia EV6 from 10% to 100% in a little over seven hours. DC fast chargers can deliver up to 350 kilowatts of power and can charge this Kia EV6 from 10% up to 80% in as little as 18 minutes. This type of charger is available at select public charging stations. A level two charger is what you'll want for home. You'll need to purchase a charging unit like this ChargePoint home charger from your local Kia dealer. The 240 volt power source needed for level two charging isn't something commonly found in most garages. So you'll need a licensed electrician to get your charging unit installed properly. You can use a site like Cumerit to find one near you. All in, you're looking at around $1,500 to $3,000 to get your home charger set up. Now let's talk about how you actually charge an EV or plug-in hybrid. Ensure the charge door is unlocked and opened. Remove the charge handle from the charger and connect it to the charging port. Then let it charge. In general, vehicles will have indicator lights to tell you what stage charging is at. As you can see here, this Nero EV is charging. And when the lights stay solid, it's complete.
Charging at home also allows you to schedule charging for off-peak hours. These are times when overall electricity usage is lower, like in the middle of the night. Many utility companies offer lower rates for charging during off-peak hours.